que pones nervio, papi. I'm calling to order this uh, hearing. This is a hearing of the Committee of the Whole. I'm Phil Mendelson, Chairman of the Council and Chair of the Committee of the Whole. Today is Friday, May 30th, 2014. The time is 12.24 in the afternoon. We are in room 412 of the Johnny Wilson Building. And the subject of this hearing is PR 20-754, Transfer of Jurisdiction over Lot 802 in Square 4325 within Fort Lincoln, Newtown, Emergency Approval Resolution of 2014. This legislation was introduced in the Council on Thursday, May 1st, at the request of Mayor Gray. The stated purpose of this legislation is to approve the transfer of jurisdiction of, it says, over 0 0.92 acres, maybe I guess that's a few feet over 0.92 acres of real property owned by the National Park Service that is within Fort Lincoln Newtown and pledged for development therein comprised of lot 802 and square 4325 from the District of Columbia by the Office of the Deputy Mayor for Planning and Economic Development to the United States by the Department of Interior National Park Service to be assembled with abutting urban renewal land to create a residential development parcel. Uh, as I understand it, the property that's issued at issue here is, as I've said, all within the Fort Lincoln Newtown uh, development and uh, some of that land at least is, um, has f title in federal government and uh, this uh, legislation which is a resolution is necessary to approve a transfer in order that uh, additional development can occur. We have two witnesses. The first is Michelle Hagens if you want to come forward. Uh, she is president of Fort Lincoln Newtown Corporation uh, and uh, following um, Ms. Hagens and her colleagues, we will have testimony from the Executive Office of the Mayor. The record in this matter will be open only a short period of time. The record will close at 5 p.m. on Monday, June 2nd. And the reason for that is that uh, this matter is scheduled to come before the Council next Tuesday. Uh, we had been asked if we would uh, consider this legislation at our, I think it was May 5th legislative meeting. It was introduced on May 1st. I felt it was important to give public notice and an opportunity for the public to comment if they, there were any concerns. That's why we're having this hearing. This is the opportunity for the public. And it would not appear that there's any uh, public opposition, which is a good thing. Um, but it's also why the record is going to close in a couple of days. That is 5 p.m. on Monday, June 2nd. Uh, let's proceed, uh, Ms. Higgins. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Chairman Middleson and Council staff and others. My name is Michelle Higgins, and I am president of Fort Lincoln Newtown Corporation, a district-based real estate development firm. In the mid-1970s, Fort Lincoln Newtown Corporation was selected by the federal government to transform 360 acres of undeveloped land designated the Fort Lincoln Urban Renewal Area into the Fort Lincoln Newtown a medium-density, mixed-use community. The Fort Lincoln Urban Renewal Area is bordered by Bladensburg Road Northeast, South Dakota Avenue Northeast, New York Avenue Northeast, and the Maryland, D.C. border. Development at Fort Lincoln proceeds in partnership between Fort Lincoln Newtown Corporation, the district, and the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development under the provisions of the land disposition and land transfer agreements between the parties. To date, Fort Lincoln Newtown Corporation has developed more than 1,700 housing units, including senior citizen apartments, condominiums, garden apartments, and fee simple townhomes. This figure includes the recent 209 Dakota Crossing townhomes, which are visible from South Dakota Avenue. We have also developed a 145,000 square foot distribution facility, which employs more than 150 people. The 322-unit villages at Dakota Crossing townhome development is currently under construction 
with 245 homes sold to date. And of course, the district's only Costco was the first store to open in the 430,000 square foot shops at Dakota Crossing Retail Center. Three additional residential developments totaling 460 units, including the Eastern Avenue development that needs approval of PR 20-754 in order to proceed, are in various stages of approval and development. As a district-based firm since its inception, Fort Lincoln Newtown takes pride in being able to add to the district's housing stock and residential population and to help expand its tax base. The shops at Dakota Crossing, for example, is projected to have a net fiscal impact for the district of $520 million over a 30-year period, including $300 million in sales tax revenues. The residential developments also produce significant revenues for the district. The Villages of Dakota Crossing Townhome Project, for example, is expected to produce more than $5 million in transfer and recordation fees and generate more than $1.5 million annually in property taxes. The, the Dakota Crossing Townhome Development that was completed in 2006 also generates more than $800,000 annually in property tax revenues. I appear before you today to ask the Council to support PR 20-754, transfer of jurisdiction over lot 802 in square 4325 within the Fort Lincoln Newtown Emergency Approval Resolution of 2014. Lot 802 in square 4325 is a 0.29 acre piece of land within Fort Lincoln Newtown near the corner of Bladensburg Road and Easton Avenue which that abuts a similarly sized piece of urban renewal land. In 2008, the Board of Zoning Adjustment approved the development of 50 townhomes on the combined Lot 802 urban renewal parcel. While Lot 802 is owned by the National Park Service, it has never been in park or recreation use, and the National Park Service has no plans for such use of it. As a result, National Park Service transferred jurisdiction over to the district in 1994, specifically for Fort Lincoln development. However, with the ownership of Lot 802 remaining with National Park Service, we are unable to build and to sell lots and homes that were approved by the BZA. As a result, it was decided among Fort Lincoln Newtown Corporation, the district, HUD, and National Park Service that the best approach would be for the National Park Service to convey title to Lot 802 to HUD. HUD would then package Lot 802 with the abutting urban renewal land to create a single development parcel for conveyance to Fort Lincoln Newtown Corporation. Such a transfer of title from National Park Service to HUD required National Environmental Policy Act review and in the fall of 2012, National Park Service in initiated a public scoping process required for an environmental assessment. This included an October 10, 2012 public scoping meeting held in the Fort Lincoln community to solicit community input on the proposed transfer of Lot 802. The EA was completed in July of 2013 with a finding of no significant impact. In order for National Park Service to convey title to Lot 802, to HUD, the district has to transfer jurisdiction back to the National Park Service. It is this transfer of jurisdiction which is necessary to facilitate the transfer of title that is the reason for PR 20-754. It is an emergency resolution in order to ensure the timing of the Council's review of PR 20-554 as it relates to the National Capital Planning Commission's review of the transfer of title for Lot 802 from NCPS to, to HUD. National Park Service has placed the transfer of title on the agenda for approval at National Capital Planning and Parks on June, its June 5, 2014 meeting, which makes it important that PR 20-54 be approved by the Council prior to the June 5th at the Council's June 3rd, 2014 legislative session. I would be happy to answer any questions at this time. Uh, thank you, Ms. Higgins. Ms. Bernardino, you have no additional statement, correct? No, I don't. All right. Mm -hmm. um, 
So let me see if I've got this right. Um, all of Fort Lincoln is, was part of an urban renewal uh, process begun in the 1970s that um, this little piece that's at issue with today's hearing, uh, the jurisdiction was transferred to the district government, but not the title. Correct. That it's now being looked at to be combined with, if I'm, I'm looking at a plat, maybe with parcel 174 dash or slash 15, and that that combined parcel would then be developed with townhomes, but that can't happen until we give jurisdiction back to National Park Service. So then National Park Service, having complete control over the property, can then transfer title to HUD. That's a within the U.S. government transaction. But then HUD, in turn, can, I guess it's convey title to Fort Lincoln uh, to uh, so that you can develop it and sell the parcels, sell right. the houses. Correct. HUD will put the two pieces together and then transfer the, the package to Fort Lincoln Newtown Corporation for the development of the townhomes. Transfer it with title to Fort Correct. Lincoln. And Fort Lincoln can then not only develop but then sell the houses. Correct. Yes. Let me just see if I have any questions. And the, um, the interest in moving this quickly is that it's on the National Capital Planning Commission, the NCPC agenda next week. Correct. And there are no further approvals required for the project? You went to BZA in 2008, I think you said? Correct. I think the approvals will be we will, once they put the two packages together and we take uh, title to the land, then we have to access the, the uh, normal process of uh, construction and development. Yes, yes, but no other approvals like Zoning Commission? Or no, sir. We, we, had the, we have the BZA approval already. Just out of curiosity, why has this taken so long? Is it possibly the economy? Uh, you went to BZA six years ago. We went, uh, I think we did not completely understand that um, the Park Service didn't transfer the title to the land, but only tra transferred the jurisdiction. So we, when we went to then try to set up closing, that we realized that the this parcel still remain titled in the Park Service name. And so we have been since that time uh, going through the process of having the Park Service be able to transfer. But first we had to convince them and discuss in dialogue on how to get this to happen. And so we came up with the process of them being able to transfer this site to HUD and then HUD would transfer it back through the urban renewal process to Fort Lincoln. That in and of itself has a long process for uh, a government parcel to be even transferred to another government agency. If I can just add to that, uh, sure. initially the Park Service took some time to determine whether or not this could be done without NEPA review, and then finally they decided that a NEPA environmental assessment was required. And, and as you probably know, there are, uh, there are set uh, public notification timelines that go along with that, and, and it, it, takes, um, it takes some time to get a NEPA review done. So that was the biggest chunk of the time. Yeah, I have to say I'm glad I wasn't at any of those meetings because they probably were numerous and lengthy um, while that was trying to be figured out. I'm, um, this isn't uh, important to this legislation, but just for my understanding, was all of the land that's Fort Lincoln, was it originally, did it originally belong to the Park Service? No, this, it, 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 this was just a piece. No, I mean all of the land. Uh, the, the land was, all, was in the title of um, probably, was it GSA? And, GSA. Through, and with, uh, with HUD oversight. It's an urban renewal process that goes it's, it's no different from any of the other urban sure. renewal sites that, that the city has dealt with. Sure. This one but, just was covered by the... But uh, it, 
you're near the Arboretum. Was it, was it part of the Arboretum at No, the, the Arboretum then, we do um, part of, there is some parcels that are under the urban renewal, um, Fort Lincoln urban renewal uh, site that are adjacent or but the Arboretum, there's one piece which would make it um, south of the railroad tracks and then we have a parcel that's between the railroad tracks and New York Avenue. But it wasn't ever part of uh, the Arboretum. I'm talking about back in the 60s or 50s. I don't believe so. This, is, this okay. is pretty far away from the Arboretum. This is at Bladensburg and South so Dakota you Avenue. Think, you think GSA may have owned it? I think this yeah, would I mean, be one. I think this would look like one of the multitude of little pieces that you have through the district that the Park Service owns. Whether they are in use as park or recreations, that and so when Fort Lincoln was developed and began, the development began in the 70s, um, HUD had or got title and then passed that title on to Fort Lincoln uh, Newtown Corporation. <laughs> and um, it just wasn't realized that this, this little piece that we're talking about today was not part of what HUD transferred. Correct. Interesting. Um, who's been taking care of the land? You? Park Service. And sometimes the district. You, you have had jurisdiction of it since 1994, but I think the Park Service really comes and cuts yeah, the I'm grass. I'm pretty sure we're not out there. Yeah. Cutting the, the Park grass Service and, comes and cuts the grass. Because mm -hmm. I know we're not out there cutting the rest of the grass around the city. Uh, Okay. <laughs> um, we've been joined by Councilmember Bonds, at large Councilmember. Do you have any questions? Um, thank you, Chairman. Um, no, I, I have no questions. Um, I was very curious about this transfer, and I think you've answered those questions. Thank you very much. I am happy to see that uh, the dream of Fort Lincoln Newtown in town, this 360 acres are. Uh, continue to be realized and um, as someone who was, you know, a baby in the 1970s, uh -huh, um, I certainly was very curious as to how this had, was going to be developed with institutions and parks and residential and retail and very, very excited and pleased that it's being realized and I know these things do take forever. Uh, having some dealings with National Park Service myself, it takes quite a while. So you're to be commended for staying, staying the tide, staying, the, moving the ship along. Thank so, you, Councilman. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Councilman Bonds. I don't think I have any other questions for you. Thank you. Uh, stick around to the end of the hearing, hearing in case I do, but thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much, both of you. Uh, Matt Troy, who's Deputy Director of Real Estate, Office of um, the Deputy Mayor for Planning and Economic Development. Do you have a statement that we have a copy of? Um, I. I don't have copies of it. I will run them over. Do you want me to run them over? Yeah, right why now? not? Yeah. Okay. There are a few edits that I've made, just misspellings that I've caught that I hope you'll indulge me on. Okay, and, and if it. you want to, after the hearing, give us a corrected copy, you can do that. Okay. But it's nice to have a copy okay. now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, good afternoon, Chairman Mendelson, members and staff of the Committee of the Whole. My name is Matthew Troy, Deputy Director of Real Estate for the Office of the Deputy Mayor for Planning and Economic Development, DIMPED. I will be testifying today on behalf of DIMPED regarding PR 20-754 the transfer of jurisdiction over lot 802 in square 4325 within Fort Lincoln Newtown Emergency Approval Resolution of 2014. 
In the late 1970s, uh, the federal government entered into an, a land disposition agreement by and among the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, Fort Lincoln Newtown Corporation, and the District of Columbia for the purpose of developing 360 acres of undeveloped land in Northeast D.C. into Fort Lincoln Newtown, a medium density mixed use community is part of which agreements the district designated the property the Fort Lincoln Urban Renewal Area. Um, we've already went over the boundaries, so I won't do that. Uh, development at Fort Lincoln has been and continues to be accomplished through a partnership among Fort Lincoln Newtown Corporation, the district, HUD, in accordance with the terms and conditions set forth in those disposition and land transfer agreements among the parties. The development has been accomplished in phases with housing, including the senior housing we talked about, condos, garden apartments, townhomes, a 145,000 square foot distribution facility, the shops at Dakota Crossing, which is a 430,000 square foot retail center, including the Costco, the district's only Costco, and will include a Lowe's in the future and a number of other retail storefronts. Three additional developments are in various stages of approval and development on the parcels of land which include the subject parcel, lot 802 and square 4325. The Fort Lincoln development has provided a significant amount, uh, number of housing units and thousands of jobs while curbing retail leakage and significantly increasing the district's tax base. Lot 802 and square 4325 is a 0.92 acre piece of land within Fort Lincoln Newtown near the corner of Bladensburg Road and Eastern Avenues Northeast that abuts a similarly sized piece of urban renewal land, which I'll refer to as the urban renewal parcel, which is owned by HUD. In 2008, the Board of, Board of Zoning Adjustments approved the development of 50 townhomes on the combined Lot 802 urban renewal parcel. Unfortunately, although approved by BZA, homes cannot be built or sold until and unless the land is owned in fee by the developer. After numerous meetings among Fort Lincoln Newtown Corporation, the District, HUD, National Park Service, the decision was made that the best way to achieve fee simple ownership on the property would be for HUD to convey title to the two adjoining parcels to Fort Lincoln Newtown Corp, as was originally intended under the terms of the land disposition and transfer agreements. This requires a series of transfers. Uh, first, the transfer of jurisdiction over lot 802 from the district back to NPS. Second, transfer of fee lot, fee title to lot 802 from NPS to HUD, then transfer of fee title to both lot 802 and the urban renewal parcel from HUD to the district, and lastly, transfer of fee title to both parcels from the district to Fort Lincoln Newtown. Such a transfer of title from NPS to HUD required National Environmental Policy Act review, and in the fall of 2012, NPS initiated the public scoping process required uh, for the environmental assessment. This included an October 2012 public scoping meeting held in the Fort Lincoln community to solicit community input on the proposed transfer of Lot 802, and the EA was completed in July of 2013 with a finding of no significant impact or FONSI. This emergency res resolution is required to order, is required in order to ensure the timing of Council's review of PR 20-754 as it relates to the National Capital Planning Commission or NCPC's review of the transfer of title for the lot from NPS to HUD. NPS has placed the transfer of title on the agenda for approval at their Ju June 5, 2014 meeting, which makes it important that PR 20-754 be approved by Council prior to June 5th at the Council's June 3rd legislative session. I urge Council to take favorable action on this legislation, and I'm happy to, have, to answer any questions that you may have. I guess I have a couple of questions. Um, maybe three. Just out of curiosity, if the, I was looking more at these documents. If all of this was begun in the 1970s, all this meaning the uh, urban renewal development, mm -hmm. uh, why did the transfer of jurisdiction to the district occur in 1994? That's 20 years after the process began. Do you know? I am actually completely uncertain about that. I'm happy to try and ferret that information out. Um, I do know that on some other deals we've been working on with the federal government, uh, jurisdiction is transferred rather than fee title ownership because they, the, the feds want to retain fee, um, yet they uh, recognize that the city would like to perhaps uh, purpose that federal land for something. Um, but specifically for Fort Lincoln Newtown, I don't know. I don't know why it took 19 years. Uh, second, um, 
I meant to ask this to Ms. Higgins earlier. The public scoping process, I assume, was a public meeting. Uh, correct. correct. So this issue of developing this land and uh, the fact that there would be a transfer of jurisdiction is something that's been out there in the public domain, and there's actually been at least one public meeting of, over it, correct? Correct. And third, um, you outlined in your testimony four steps, which I guess I sort of said earlier after Ms. Higgins finished testifying. What we, be, we have before us is the first step, transfer of jurisdiction from the district back to MPS. Correct. The fourth step is transfer of fee title to both parcels from the district to Fort Lincoln Newtown Corporation. And I think that's all pursuant to the agreements uh, laid out in the, the mid-70s. I think it was 1975 land transfer agreement between uh, the feds, uh, HUD, I believe. Um, so will that require council action when that I don't. I don't believe it does, considering that it predates 1001. Um, but I would have to check. Because it predates what? The the what we call 1081, the disposition yes. uh, approval resolution. Um, because the agreement that outlined how the property would be transferred is over 40 years old, um, I'm happy to double check with you. Um, would you uh, double check? Yeah, because absolutely. Because we should know. Um, absolutely. I, I don't think it's an issue of whether the agreement predates. It's whether the, the agreement uh, includes this within its scope. Correct. Correct. That would be correct. Which it may. Right. Uh, and that's fine. I mean, if it doesn't, because this is a um, additional land later in time, whatever, uh, then we ought to all know so that Absolutely. we're not caught at the last minute having to deal with it again. Absolutely. Uh, one other question. Uh, just to, I noted when I uh, started the meeting that the uh, language, I think, in the resolution says uh, over 0.92? I think it's 0.92 acres. It's a little less than one acre. Yeah, the resolution says, no, the resolution says transfer jurisdiction over 0.92 acres of land. The uh, federal FONSI said 0.91. I don't know that it really matters. Are, are we having trouble understanding how much land it is? Uh, evidently, but I will. Um, on that one one hundredth of an acre of land, I will double check on that too. Okay. Okay. Councilmember Bonds, do you have a question? Any questions? Um, I do. I just have a just a curiosity. Um, uh, in your step four, mm -hmm. which, um, as planned, um, it says transfer of fee titles to both parcels uh, from the district to Fort Lincoln uh, New Town. I'm just curious not trying to turn the cart over, but just curious. Um, if the district uh, saw fit to transfer not to Fort Lincoln Newtown, would that be possible? Um, considering that there are agreements, and I will check per Chairman Mendelson's request as to whether or not the .92 acre parcel is included within the scope of those agreements, considering that there are agreements that are 40 years old with uh, that contemplate this development, and considering that the district and our development partners have been together for a long time, have gone to the BZA together, have approvals over this particular parcel for the 50 townhomes, I don't think it would be possible. Okay. I just want to be... Be, be sure yeah. um, so that if there's something that we need to do to make it clear because when you talk as you say 40 years right. I just want to make sure that it's I, clear I you know, land agree. is so valuable in the right. District of Columbia absolutely right you know and I, I think it's safe to say comes in, all <laughs> in many forms yes yeah okay. I think it's safe to say that everybody's in the same boat rowing in the same direction on this we want to see this happen but you're going to check them Ab absolutely thank you Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. <clears throat> Thank you, Councilmember Bonds. I think we're good. Thank you very much. Thank you. And there are two things you're going to get back to us on. You're right. going to double check the size and uh, whether the council will have to approve at a later date the transfer from um, the district to Fort Lincoln after the district gets it from HUD. Yes, sir. Okay. And please do that um, today or, t or Monday, since we have this on the agenda for Tuesday. Yeah. That's all. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, this, that's going to conclude this hearing. Uh, this has been a hearing on PR 20-754, transfer of jurisdiction over lot 802 and square 4325 within Fort Lincoln, Newtown, emergency approval resolution of 2014. The record in this matter will close at 5 p.m. on Monday, June 2nd, 2014. This is on the agenda for the Council's legislative meeting on June 3rd, 2014. The time is now 12.54 in the afternoon. This hearing is adjourned. <laughs>